it should come as no surprise that I'm looking forward to making this video. <music> Greetings! My name is Brian, welcome to Kilco Whiskey Musings! That's the year here. At long last, we have the Red Breast 12 cast drink, which was donated to the channel by Mama Kilco. Mom, you are awesome. It has been a long time coming that I get this bottle. The last Red Breast 12 cast drink I had was back in 20... 20... 2019? 2020? I honestly don't remember. So I've been hesitant to even look for a Red Breast 12 cast drink because they're hard to find and they're always expensive. As you can see here, the ABV is 56.3%. This is batch number B121. Get to it, shall we? I felt good. We begin with that color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might pour more of this later. I mean, look at that. That's almost bourbon colored. Oh, damn. That's beautiful. Sunset. That's what I think of when I look at that sunset. And copper. Almost like the copper stills it came out of. Ooh. Onto the nose. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because I just want to drink this whiskey. Oh, man. Buttery and fruit. I expected the vanilla to stick out more. It isn't. It's kind of an undertone. It's always a bit weird for me to drink out of these kind of glasses because I'm so used to what a Glencairn presents. Graham cracker? Like the cinnamon graham cracker. <laughs> like the cinnamon graham cracker. So it's the graham cracker that had a whole bunch of cinnamon on one side of it. This also has me thinking about some small red berries. And I feel like these are the type of small red berries that exist only in cartoons and video games. So they'd be like a crossover between a cherry and a grape, and they'd be about half the size. Doesn't smell like the proof either. I'd be expecting a hell of a lot more of a hit from this. Toast, buttered toast. All right, I'm excited. I'm starting to salivate. So talking is becoming more difficult. Onto the palate. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Sweet berries, coffee cake, a little peppery, a little cinnamon spice, lingering dry finish. And that was just the first sip. Next sip, hold the palate, see what happens next. Oh, that's where the proof is. Oh, yeah. Picked up the spices quite a bit there. Should have seen that coming. Oh, I think I overloaded my taste buds with that. <laughs> It's all spice. Peppery cinnamon. What the heck? I thought of bark, like tree bark, and rhubarb. That was really weird. Go drink of water and then try that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. That luscious vanilla. Creamy strawberry, raspberry. That cinnamon keeps showing up. Like a cinnamon stick, specifically. And of course, I said cinnamon stick. The next thing it jumped over to was hot apple cider. Oh, God, what would this be like with some hot cider? Oh, gosh. This is not the first time I've had that thought, and I still haven't bought any cider. I'm so pleased with this. I was expecting the worst. But I know, unfortunately, when it's a nice Redbreast 12 cast strength bottle, it will not last very long. I would not expect this to last to my birthday. Maybe I'll finish it off by my birthday in July. Ah, still drinks a little hot if you hold on your palate too long. It really kicks the spices up when you do that. And it brings in some dark notes. You know, if you have brownie and have a little cream or ice cream next to it, with some raspberries on top. Oh, man. I haven't eaten lunch. As always, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome, and I will see you out there. Hey, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll see you Sunday.